Hello, hello, hello everyone and welcome back to Tooth and Scrubs Gaming. Thank you so much for joining me here today in a brand new game, Super Fantasy Kingdom. We are checking out the demo build number eight here down by Friaz Beer. Hopefully I'm pronouncing your name right, my friend. I happened to see this game on Reddit and it looked pretty cool and here we are. Now I haven't played any of it yet before, so everything you see here will be my first time. So there'll probably be some oopses and we will learn how to play this. So let's go ahead and click play here. Looks like we got a couple of heroes. Well, we're not, got one hero we can play. The Knight, defensive guy, perfect for the start. Race human, looks like it's runs, recorded days, days and kills. And we got our stats over here, damage, health, a shield, critical chance, revival, banish. Okay, let's go ahead and click play. I do have the tutorial active, so we'll see what we need speak? to do. How could everything just vanish, according to the king? The first step in every run is to place the tavern. If you want to read this again, click on the task on the bottom left, or on the left bottom. Click on a big building spot. Got it. All right, so let's put our tavern, I guess, like maybe here next to the castle. Yes, let's build our tavern here. Resources can be used after they've been taken to the castle. Only food gets stored in the tavern. Now you will need wood. Click on another big building spot and select the lumber yard. Um, I guess down here? And we'll build the lumber yard. Workers can choose, or workers choose which job they take on their own. You can only decide how many jobs are available in a building. If a worker cannot find a free impossible job, he will help carrying instead. Hover over the lumber yard and up mouse wheel to increase the number of workers. All right, hold alt to see how many jobs are assigned and taken in all buildings. Now you have to wait for workers to chop some trees. To speed things up, we need more workers. Build a house in a small building spot. Got it, all right, so let's go ahead and increase that. And we'll go ahead and build a house there, but we need four wood and we only got two. So there's our little worker here. We can zoom in on him. Looks like he's gonna go chop that tree down. Choppity chop chop, very nice. And we got our king right here and uh, oh, we can click on this dog. Oh, we can pet the doggy. There we go. And looks like we got a horse leaving the castle, coming down. Uh, the morning is over and monsters will start to attack your village. Your unit will attack once targets are in range. You can see the range of a unit when hovering over it or while dragging it. The only unit you have now is your hero. He gains experience when you defeat monsters. When your hero dies, you lose. Okay, so here's our hero. The knight, active defense, um, 10 attack every second, 50 meters, charges enemies, and there's all of our stats over there. And movement, attack, all right. So let's go ahead and click out of that and so let's see. Oh, he's got a decent range, it looks like, and we got quite a large map up here. We got a little castle or something right here to the left. Some trees and I don't know what we got over here. We got a person walking in. I'm assuming he's a bad guy. Some sort of statue up there. Some creepy circle of death right there. What else do we got going on? So a nice beach over here on our right side. Who X marks the spot. Maybe some treasure over there. A couple more skeletons shambling in here. So let's see what happens when our knight gets put to it. Uh, actually, let's pause for a second. We've got our four wood. So let's go ahead and build another house. You start with one worker and one horse. Each house grants an additional worker. Horses can only carry resources. After wood, you'll need stone. So now we gotta build a quarry. Uh, and it looks like, yeah, there's some stone up there we can mine. So let's go ahead and cancel out of that because we don't have the ore. Yeah, ore. Uh, all right, quarry, so we need three logs. So let's go ahead and get our two workers chopping logs down there. And then once we get enough logs, we will build that quarry where our knight kills some of these, they look like skeletons. Yeah, there we go. Swing that sword, kill those guys. Nice. All right, looks like they got about 10 HP each. There he goes, swingity swing swing. They're just shambling on in. Quite a few, but we seem to be doing okay. We haven't taken any damage, it looks like. What's our health? I mean, our health is still 11, our shield's still 13, so I don't think we've taken any damage. Uh, Nightfall, defeat remaining monsters. So we got one, two, three, four, five. I see five more skeletons left. Ooh, we got some treasure there. All right. Monsters get angry at Moonrise. So now they're glowing red. I don't know what that means, but I'm guessing that means they're like powered up or something. Took a little damage to our shield there. One more skeleton coming in. Our knight will get in there and take care of him here in a few seconds once he's in range. Slashy, slashy. 10 damage, down he goes. 
Nice. And our knight is going... I don't know where he's going, but he's going somewhere. Oh, what a quaint little tavern. Day one. Kills. Ten. One leak. I don't know what it means by a leak. And zero deaths. And we gained a glory. Our knight's at 100% health. He's gotten all the kills, it looks like. 100% of the kills. Alright, let's continue there. Alright, day two. Got My an old friend. man. <laughs> and who are you, friend? I am no warrior. Just an old forgotten man. I can help you. I come with help to aid the kingdom. Here, take one of these. Mm. For free? Alright, we can get a halfling, small in size, big in heart, a rune scribe, a rune with caution, and a cyclops, one eyed wonder. Uh, let's go ahead and take... We'll take the halfling, yeah? Alright, your first unit. Your new unit was placed on the bench. Most units cannot attack from the bench, but have to be placed on the battlefield. Drag it into one of the free spaces next to your hero. Units gain experience when eating in the tavern. They do not like to sleep on an empty stomach. Assign jobs to the tavern to get berries. Got it. All right, so we're gonna take our halfling here. Actually, let's move our knight up to that square and our halfling there. So it looks like he's a, a ranged unit of sort. Yep, slingshot, hits with normal damage. Singing, I'll pass the skill at the witch. Okay. Uh, it looks like we can upgrade him for two gold ingots. Now, did our our knight didn't have anything like that. All right, so we've got four wood here. Let's go ahead and build that quarry. The castle can only store a limited amount of resources. To increase its storage capacity, you need to repair it. Repair the castle. Got it. All right, so can we build another house? No, we need eight wood, but I think our max is four. Uh, all right, so let's take one lumberjack off and put one up there. Um... I'd like a third person to be working in the tavern, but I don't think we can do that right now. Uh, okay, so he, there looks like our quarryman is gonna go up there and start quarrying stone from right here. Very nice, he's gonna get us some stone from right there. We got some monsters coming in here midday. We'll kind of keep an eye on both. Boost, spend beer. Well, we don't have beer to spend on. There we go, we got a stone in there, so the horse is gonna run up and grab that stone and take it back to the castle. And we need three stone to repair our storage. And it looks like we've got some elves coming in? I don't know. It looks like the rain's slowing everyone down. I like the little animation there on the, the side there. You can tell that they're getting rained on. And there goes our knight, and our halfling is throwing his uh, slingshot at them. Or, well, throwing rocks from his slingshot at them. Doing some sizable damage. Eight per hit. That's very nice. And down goes that elf. We got a couple more coming in. Another skeleton over here on the right. All right, let's see how we're doing down here. We're bringing that last stone in. We got three stones. So let's go ahead and repair the castle, repair our storage. Build roads to explore the world and expand your village into a sprawling town. They are permanent but require a certain amount of glory. Glory cannot be lost. Click the button in the middle or the upper right to enter the road building mode. Then select the arrow where you want to expand. Build a road, got it. So let's pause for a second. Got a couple more of those. I'm calling them elves. I don't know if they're actually elves. All right, expand. Uh, so for one stone and three glory, we can go there. One stone and one glory. Five glory and a stone. 15, 100. Wow, we got quite a, quite a lot of work to do to be able to expand some of these. One stone and two glory, one stone and no glory. All right, let's go ahead and get the, let's get out of the screen because I think we're gonna need quite a bit of stone. And let's take our wood chopper out there and put him in the mason shop. Actually, no, let's take him out of the stone mason and put him in the tavern so he can start to collect some berries for our heroes. All right, we got six logs in. I think our horse should be grabbing the rest of the lumber. Cause, what was it, eight for the next house? Yeah, eight. And we are at night. There we go. Our knight's taking down some elves. Our halflings throwing stones at them. Moonrise. Monsters are angry again. Urgh. All right. Slash, slash. Some more treasure for us to pick up. Two more guys coming in. That's all I see. Very nice. Skeleton unlocked. Kill 13 monsters on one day. Victory. Defeat all evil. All right. In they go there. So, there's our halfling coming on in. He, we got 16 kills, no leaks, and no deaths. Gained an additional glory, very nice. So the halfling did 75% of the kills, and our knight did 25%. Interesting. All right, seating. 
Your units enter the tavern in a random order. They will always pick the food most valuable to them. Eating. Each type of food is worth a certain amount of experience. Berries 1, fish 2, bread 3. Every race has a favorite meat, which grants them 5, but any other meat only 2. Sleeping. Overnight, all living units and heroes regain their whole health. Nice. Okay, so he doesn't have any food, so he's just going to sit and be hungry, it looks like. Well, we just put someone in the tavern here, so hopefully we can gather up some berries for you there, Mr. Halfling. And there we go. We're going out to pick up some berries there. Gathering berries, gathering berries, leaving the berries on the stick. And now we have one total meal for our halfling to eat. Nice. And we've got the eight wood, so let's go ahead and build another house. And then, um, all right, we got to build a road. We've got the one stone. Um, one stone, no glory. So let's go ahead and build this way. Fund this expansion. To survive, you need more units. The easiest way is to find the home of a human unit in the world. There you can purchase and upgrade that unit. Expand until you find a unit and purchase it. Got it. All right, so we expanded that way a little bit. Um, oh, we got on pause there. And down it goes, nice. So we've got a couple extra spots out here. Let's click on this little castle. So we can get a human fighter who stabs, point and stab. That costs four stone. Um, taunt, on last pa unlock passive skill at the witch, okay. And what are these spots here? Rebuild. Get it permanent starting resources. Okay, so it looks like we can use that treasure to get ourselves more resources when we start the game. So I'm guessing if we like do a second run or something, that's where that would pop up. All right, so let's go ahead and spend. We got nine, and it seems like stone's kind of important. So let's go ahead and do the stone there. Oh, it put a little stone. Nice. All right, and we'll go ahead and hit play again. What's this? Times two resources in the quarry. Some of the enemies are coming in now. What do we got? Some mages or something? I see a skeleton. So it looks like each day we get a new enemy and probably they're a little bit stronger there. Um, all right, we've got five meals. So let's take someone out of the tavern and put them in the stone quarry because we're gonna need a lot more stone here very, very shortly. They're not quite there. I'd like to get the, the four stone needed to buy the human fighter so we have more defenders. All right, we took down that elf, and down goes that thing, down goes the skeleton. Okay, we got a nice little combination here, a ranged unit and our, our knight dealing out some good damage. All right, down that goes, ooh, and we got another piece of treasure, very nice. Got another elf trying to squeeze in on the side there, a couple more mages on the right. Uh, ooh, we got four stone, okay. Let's go ahead and buy the human fighter. There is also small building spots in the world. There you can develop the land to get more starting resources for future runs. Oh, so this could be one of those games where you, you probably are going to fail and die. So, okay, so next time we start a game, we'll start with one additional stone. Got it. I see now. Right now, it cannot be undone. Rebuild any resources. All right. Um, so let's go here. Ooh, we need 10. So I should have waited. That's okay. And here's our fighter, so let's go ahead and put our fighter. He doesn't have much of a range, but at least he would protect these two if we had people getting too close. So as this elf gets close, let's see if our fighter stabs him. Nice, good slash attack there. And there goes a little wagon with the stone we, we used to purchase this human fighter, it looks like. Now, can we upgrade him with eight stone? All right, so it's gonna be a little bit of time till we can upgrade him. And it's nighttime, the monsters are now angry. Hopefully they don't do too much damage. They're all starting to attack our knight here. Slash, slash, grab that treasure. Two more elves or whatever it is. Oh no, they hit the hobbit. Okay, we survived going into day four. Very nice. We still need to rebuild one of those spots, but we got 11 coins, so I think it was 10 for that piece of wood. So here at the next day, we'll be able to do that. All right, there's our human fighter, our halfling, and then I don't know where our knight's at, but we got 17 kills, four leaks. I still, I still don't know what a leak is. We need to figure that out, and we gained a glory. Knight got about half our kills, halfling a third, and then the fighter got that other third, or eh, 20%. All right, so let's go ahead and continue here. All right, everyone's gonna take a nice seat. Okay, the human doesn't get anything, but there's food right there. Why are they not? I don't know why they didn't pick up food. Oh, because it's probably because they didn't get the, the food they wanted. All right, they still got some berries. All right, yeah, there we go. The halfling's eating. There goes the human eating, very nice. And now they'll go ahead and take a nap. And day four. All right, so let's start by rebuilding here. 
and we'll go ahead and do that wood. Next, you'll need new boards, or you need boards. Boards get made from wood in the sawmill. Build a sawmill. Um, but we don't have any big building spots left. All right, so let's go back here. So we got three glory now. We could expand this spot. We could expand that spot. We could expand there. That's a hundred. Oh, this is five. We can't go there. Can't go there. Can't do that one. Okay, so we have to do one of these two. So let's go ahead and get back out of that screen. We got two stone masons up there gathering some stone. So here in a second, we should be able to expand. Was it this one? I can do either of them. Let's, um, let's do this one, I think. Fund expansion, yep. All right, and play. Okay, nice. So now we should be able to build. There's the sawmill. Oh, we got quite a few things. Gold mine, farm, hunter. Sawmill, windmill, bakery, brewery, smelter. And we got stables to get more carriers. Graveyard to lay your fallen to rest. Siege camp, portal, and elemental tower. Okay, so we need five, five logs. And we don't have anyone in the wood shop. So let's go ahead and do that. And we should have three workers. So we got, where's our third guy? One in the wood shop, two and one in there. Where's the, oh, we got a free one. Okay, let's go, let's put him in the uh, lumber camp there so we can get some more logs. All right, here comes the enemies. We got another, I don't know, mage guy right here. Ooh, there's some skull and crossbones there. Just taking a second to look at the map. Got some trolls or ogres or something coming in. Still want to know what this is. We got, ooh, we can click on this. All right, world events. There are special places in the world where random events can happen. Those could be free resources, item visitors, or monsters blocking them. They are marked with a red X. Oh, so it's kind of a treasure, I was right. You will need to make sure you clear those places regularly. The chance for world events increases when more of them are free. Got it, okay, so we can got, we got a piece of ore. And uh, we need two to upgrade the storage there, so we're not quite ready to do that. Pulling in quite a bit of lumber now, since we got the two people doing the, the lumber on the bottom there. So let's go ahead and build our sawmill. Gold mine, now you can produce boards to build a gold mine. The gold mine does not allow, does not only allow you to mine gold, but you can also upgrade it to unlock the geologist. He can find new stone and gold. Okay, got it. So we got that. So let's go ahead and take one person out of the lumber yard and put them in the, um, what was this? The sawmill, duh. All right, ooh, we got quite a few people coming in now. Halfling throwing some rocks. Our fighter here, ready to defend everyone to the death. Pick up that treasure there. Slash, slash. Oh, what was that? We got something. Did he level up? I'm not sure what happened. I think he leveled up. That's what I'm suspecting happened. Those ogres are stomping their way over. All right, Halfling, keep throwing those stones. Let's down as many of these people before nightfall because they're about to get angry. There we go. Ooh, there's quite a few coming our way. Hopefully we survive here. Quite a few. Oh, go fighter, yeah, slash. Knock them out, ooh. Um, our knight is taking quite a bit of damage. Okay, we got what looks like two more ogres. Our knight is not doing well. He's, okay, woo, made it through. That was close. We might not survive this next night, but that's okay. Next time we would start with an additional stone and an additional piece of wood. And I think it said some of those roads were permanent, so we wouldn't have to worry about building them next time. All right, so let's, we already looked at this. We can skip this for now. There we go. Everyone gets healed up. Day five. All right, we got four stone. Um, do we have any boards being made? Not quite yet. Um, all right, let's pause for a second. We could expand this spot. We could expand there, 999. We're not quite ready for that one yet. Um, let's see where this one takes us, shall we? All right, and to the right there. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Ooh, we're exploring more of the map. Ooh, there's another red X, nice. Oh, who's this fellow? Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy, come over here. What? What appears to be the problem? Oh! My wagon broke down. Help me fix it. Three boards. Well, we don't have any boards for you yet. But we do have two more spots. I'm assuming these are, yep, permanent spots. So we'll have to keep an eye on that and eventually build that up. We got three more stones, so let's go ahead and I guess let's fund this expansion, shall we? And it built, okay, we got another spot there. 
And let's go here. Uh, that one requires 10, 50, 15, 250, 350. Okay, so let's go ahead and do, let's go ahead and do this one, shall we? And okay, nice. We got two building spots there that we can use. Um, can't upgrade the fighter yet. Midday, monsters are coming. Yes, yes, we know. We got, ooh, a beholder of sorts? Yeah, we got a little beholder coming in. He does not look happy. Not happy at all. Okay, so planks are starting to come in. We've got two planks, three stone, no logs, because I'm guessing the logs are being, yeah, used in the sawmill. So next we need to build that gold mine. Ooh, there's quite a few people coming in. And they're taking their sweet, sweet time to get in. I wish they'd, you know, hurry up so we can not have to deal with them at night, because I think they looked like they had like resource bonuses at night. Or not resource bonuses, but like attack bonuses. All right, let's pause for a second. Okay, we can build the gold mine for three stone and two planks. Uh, nothing over here, so let's go ahead and build that gold mine. Upgrade the lumber yard to unlock the forester, a special job that will plant new trees in the surrounding wild spaces. To upgrade a building, just click on the building and then on upgrade. This is the last step of the tutorial, so you can wait until you need more wood. Upgrade the lumber yard. Okay, so that was the tutorial. I like this game. I don't know about you guys. Leave me a comment on down below what you think of uh, Super Fantasy Kingdom so far. It's I like it. Uh, I like the the combat mechanics where it's kind of you know I have to set some of the basics, but then it's the game really doing everything else. Uh, we're about to get attacked by this troll and elf. There we go. We knock that out. Okay, we're going after a beholder, and we got another troll. Or I don't even know what these are. Can we? We can't select them. Defeat the remaining monsters. Yeah, we're about to get. I don't think this is gonna end very well for us. Yeah, here we go. This might be the end of end of our run. We are unit down. A unit got downed. It cannot use its skills or be moved anymore. But don't worry, you could get it back. A night down unit enters the tavern first. As long as they get any kind of food, they recover back to full health. They do not gain any experience from it though. You can build the graveyard to move a down unit out of the way. Okay, so our halfling should, if we survive the night, which I don't think we're going to, um, accept defeat. Ah, there it is. There it is. Well, I think that was a good first run here in Super Fantasy Kingdom as we watch all of our enemies, the Beholder leading the charge there. I'm guessing they're going to attack the castle here in a second uh, and destroy our little kingdom. Oh, there goes our sawmill on fire. And something just got... Big splash of blood over there. Tavern's on fire. That house is on fire. What a shame. Anyways, like I said, leave me a comment on down below if you want to see more gameplay from Super Fantasy Kingdom like this. I liked it. I'm going to keep playing it. Uh, it's only in the demo version on Steam right now. And you guys should check it out. Thank you so much for coming out and watching this Tooth and Scrubs video. If you really enjoyed this content, don't forget to like and subscribe. And we'll see you in the next one.